Judge has ordered the liquidation of conspiracy theorist Alex Jones's personal assets to pay off money he owes to the families of victims in the Sandy Hook school shooting. It's still unclear if Jones will lose his media platform after courts in two states say he must pay more than one billion dollars for damages in defamation cases. Omar Villafranca reports from Houston. Families of Sandy Hook Elementary shooting victims are one step closer to getting financial compensation from conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. I will not be silenced. On Friday, a federal judge in Texas granted Jones's request to liquidate his personal assets in order to pay off the one and a half billion dollars he owes them. These people want me silenced. It is completely and totally transparent. And the world is seeing through this. Robbie Parker, who lost his six-year-old daughter Emily in the 2012 massacre, was among plaintiffs who successfully sued Jones for spreading lies about the attack, calling the incident fake and calling parents crisis actors. I lost my own power. I lost my voice for a long time. It took me joining this lawsuit to finally start to be able to find and reclaim some of those things again. Scarlett Lewis lost her six-year-old son, Jesse, that day. You can forgive someone, but that doesn't mean that you forget. They need to be held accountable so that they don't do it to someone else. Even though Jones eventually relented in court and admitted the shooting was not a hoax. It's 100% real. This liquidation could be just the beginning of his financial burden. In a case involving defamation, that debt, if you will, is not extinguished. They can continue to go to seek more. Survivors of the massacre are pressing ahead, marking a major milestone this week. Dozens of students from Sandy Hook Elementary wore green and white pins at their high school graduation ceremony honoring their fallen classmates and educators. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Houston, Texas.